Hello, my name is Tammy. I am the president of Fun and Adventure at Singles Travel International. And I am proud to present a single sailing adventure tonight as our travel preview. So happy to be here once again with Cindy Denman, the business development manager with Star Clippers, one of our partners for many, many years. And they have been sharing great opportunities itineraries around the world, helping us present these vacations for singles at better rates so that you can have your own space and not pay any more than you would if you had a share in many cases. And we have seven single selling adventures coming up in 22, 23, and we're looking at more for 24. I think by the time we get to 24, Sin, we have maybe have circumnavigated at least half the globe. So yes, I think so. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and let you take over and show your presentation. And if anybody has questions, please ask along the way. Um, but enjoy, enjoy our, our voyage tonight. Thanks, Tam. It's so great to be here. Um, as, as Tammy mentioned, we do um, have a wonderful partnership with um, Single Travel International. Um, Singles Travel International, and we uh, look forward to every time that we get to um, be in front of you and just share a little bit about what we've done. Um, funny enough, I was I was on board the New Year's Eve sailing and and got to meet a lot of uh, you members, and it was just a joy and a pleasure on Star Flyer on that New Year's Eve sailing. So take a look at these two, but don't forget we have those others that um, Tam mentioned. And um, without further ado, like she said, we'll just move right in. So the two that we're highlighting this evening, um, two different parts of the world. Um, first of all, March 4th through the 11th of 2023, we're doing Costa Rica and Nicaragua. With that, we're calling it Living Pura Vida. And it's a brand new itinerary for Star Clipper. She's come back from Southeast Asia, coming to the Med and then on into Costa Rica it is the Pacific side of Costa Rica, so a great new itinerary for Star Clippers. And then April 29th through May the 6th, 2023, Athens to Istanbul. It has been many, many years since we have sailed into Istanbul, so we're super excited about that. In fact, we have some Istanbul to Athens, which is a different itinerary as well, that is open and available and both of them are exploring the antiquities and the Greek island getaway. Let's see if we can move this forward. There we go. So I'd like you to take a minute, whether you've been on board or not, I'd like you to take a minute and just close your eyes. Imagine yourself on the teak deck of a timelessly elegant clicker, clipper ship. There's a warm breeze blowing and all of a sudden the music starts to play. Vangelis, 1492. And you immediately understand that this is the most incredible experience you've ever had. So we invite you to come sail away and experience life under full sail. What this really means is that we are authentic sailing. We operate under wind power 70 to 90% of the time, which keeps us green and clean. Super important in the world today, of course. It's experiential. So you get to join in, um, participate with the fun adventures on board with the staff and crew, go into destinations that other ships, even small ones can't reach, and it truly is the experience of a lifetime every time. Our journeys are created with wind charts. And what that essentially means is that as the wind blows, so we're always in warm waters and we're always going in the currents of those warm breezes in destinations throughout the world from the Caribbean, Costa Rica, Central America, throughout Europe. And so some wonderful itineraries, and again, all created by wind charts. Casually elegant on board, just the way you're dressed right now, except for whoever was in their pajamas. 
um, you can certainly enjoy um, Star Clippers. Casually elegant and, and during the day, um, you're gonna be enjoying all those fun water sports. Personalized friendly service. So with 163 guests and 102 staff and crew, it's more than a two to one guest to staff ratio. So it's a lot of fun to meet the captain there. You see Captain Sergey there and his staff and crew, and this is actually on, on flyer. International cuisine is incredible. It is created, um, Michelin trained chefs actually write the menus and all of the um, shellfish, the fish, the vegetables, the fruits, everything is regionally procured wherever we're sailing. So you'll always have the freshest fruits and vegetables and the most natural of cuisine. So a five-star dining experience for sure in the evening and casual during the day, but we can accommodate most of those dietary needs and dining on board truly is a wonderful experience. We go to unique destinations with few crowds. In fact, this is a little picture of Milos, Greece. We go to 37 different Greek isles. Um, I'm trying to get to all of them. How about you? In the meantime, um, this, this particular um, itinerary that we're gonna highlight does have some new destinations for Greece as well. So it's exciting. With that, those unique destinations have few crowds. And we know how important that is to most of us now, especially now. It feels like you're on your own private yacht, truly a space to get away and enjoy the sunset or at the tropical bar with your favorite friends enjoying a libation. So there's lots of activities on board and you can do it all or nothing at all. So who are our guests? Well, all of you. Our core demographic is 45 to 65 years of age, singles and couples and um, everything in between. So it's a really fun group of folks um, on most of the sailings. The, the longer sailings tend to be a little bit skewed a little older and the shorter sailings a little bit younger. Mobile, outgoing, and active. This is us climbing the mast um, to the crow's nest, laying in the bowsprit, enjoying tying knots, taking the wheel. Sailing and boating enthusiasts will love this because it's an opportunity. And 80% of um, our guests speak English, so there is no uh, problem with that. Sometimes you have a question about that. And over 60% of you, once you sail, are going to come back to Tam and say, listen, I need to go, and it'll probably be within 12 months. So life on board is incredible. It's an opportunity to watch the sales go up and to enjoy one with the sea. It's very different than just a cruise. It totally is a sailing adventure. Open seating dining, which means you can dine with when you like, with whom you like, and open bridge, so you can go check out the captain ladies. Um, and see how he's steering the ship or watch the navigation, climb the mast, learn to tie nautical knots, or dance with the entertainment nightly or under the stars until you say when. You can take the helm and steer this beautiful sailing vessel and always participate in our complimentary water sports and instruction. This is a huge piece of what we do. On all of our itineraries, and especially in the Caribbean and Central America, you're going to have an opportunity to snorkel, kayak, paddleboard, water ski, um, do that sunfish sailing. And it's included, as well as instruction from our water sports team to teach you how if you've always wanted to learn. So the, the water sports and um, that component of what we're doing is especially important to Star Clippers. You can also get a massage on the sun deck if you like. And that is included on both of these sailings because we, there isn't a spa on board, but there is an opportunity to go on top deck and enjoy those wonderful massages and spa treatments. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the itineraries. First of all, we'll go to Costa Rica and Nicaragua. So um, having traveled there myself, it's a, an incredible destination for flora and fauna. And it's a great opportunity to do high level activities and excursions. Um, of course, the water sports are included, so you can snorkel everywhere we are. But in addition to that, visit the, the um, national parks and enjoy the destination 
that is Costa Rica and of course Nicaragua as well. This is brand new for us. We haven't been there for about 14 years, I believe. And um, so brand new back into Central America beginning in November 22 and sailing through March of 23, which is when our sailing is with Singles Travel International. Here's the itinerary in front of you. Um, <clears throat> just to take a look at <coughs> the itinerary, you'll see that there is two or three stops that are going to be in Costa Rica and then into Nicaragua. Some excellent um, opportunity to do those, as I mentioned, national parks. Here's a little map to show you where you're headed from Punta Arenas. You're gonna head north into Nicaragua. And then those destinations there are on the north side, on the Pacific side of the island. I can't say it enough, but the adventures that we will offer, the horseback riding, the national parks, the bird watching, the zip line, as adventurous if you, as you would like to be, you can certainly do all of that and more in Costa Rica. And so um, those unlimited complimentary water sports are gonna be particularly important on this itinerary because it gives you an opportunity to really enjoy the incredible waters of the area. The itinerary Punta Arenas is where you're gonna sail out of into Quepos, Costa Rica. Then you have a beautiful day at sea to enjoy that massage on the deck or whatever you like. And then San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua, which is an incredibly beautiful beach area with um, amenities that you can stay on the beach all day. Um, we'll do a beach barbecue in this area. And it's just a, an opportunity to enjoy Nicaragua, which is one of our newest destinations. We're excited about this because it, it is a new and upcoming destination and we wanna get there before everyone else does, right? Playa Panama and then Bahia Portero, Flamingo Beach, and then into Isla, Isla Tortuga, um, which is another beautiful destination. And so these itineraries, um, all of the pictures and the excursions are not out as yet, but they will be shortly and Tammy will have a hold of them as soon as they are. Then to the other side of the world, like she said, we travel around the world with Singles Travel International. Oh. We're going to sail Athens to Istanbul. Look at that beautiful picture of Sofia Haga. It's just beautiful, a mosque. Um, so this itinerary is in the Eastern Mediterranean, as you probably all know, it starts in Athens and ends in Istanbul. Um, we're going to go to Mykonos, which is everyone's favorite, then on to Patmos, Chios, Dekili, Boscada, and One Day at Sea again, which is rare, and then into Istanbul, Turkey. I don't have to share with you how wonderful Athens is. I'm sure Tam has some really wonderful things planned um, for pre and maybe even post on this. Um, an incredible new itinerary, both for Star Clippers and Singles Travel International. Um, but this is just a shot of the Acropolis in the beautiful area of Athens where you begin your journey. Then on to Mykonos, then on to Patmos, Chios, Bascada, your day at sea, and that beautiful swimming pool there, and then into Istanbul. Istanbul happens to be one of my favorite cities in the world. Um, this is the waterfront. So in addition to all the historical beautiful mosques and museums and all the antiquities, the waterfront area is very beautiful and we can't forget about shopping at the Grand Bazaar. Um, as always, Star Clippers is an authentic sailing experience and it's perfect for today's travelers. There's only 163 guests on this vessel, either Star Clipper or Star Flyer. Again, intimate destinations with few crowds, cultural immersion, art and history, enhanced safety measures and protocols, and of course, all the fun that Singles Travel International always gives us. It's smooth sailing. So just to put everyone at ease, we've been sailing since September of 21 after the pandemic. Um, well, we're saying it's after, of course, we're claiming it's after, um, but we do have special protocols for everyone who is sailing and they're currently um, changing. Um, pretty much 
every couple of weeks, things change, but those protocols are all set. We've been sailing without any incidences of COVID on board, either with staff or with crew or with passengers. So we're super excited about that. Royal Clipper started in September, then Star Flyer joined her in November, and they both just completed their Caribbean season. And right now, they're crossing the Atlantic on their way to Europe. There truly is no experience as thrilling as a Star Clipper voyage. The sail away is magical. The food's awesome. The staff is fabulous. Once you've sailed on a clipper, you'll never go back to big ships. Sailing is for your heart and soul. Well, that was quick, but I just want to say thank you for joining us. Is there any questions about either itinerary or anything that I can help you with while we welcome Tam back? I'm definitely here, Sin. That was beautiful. And I was just thinking of some of you who are here on the presentation tonight. Uh, you're going to be aboard that beautiful. Um, how many sails are on the Royal Clipper, Cindy? 52. 52. And on the Star Clipper and Star Flyer? Oh, I want to say it's around 40 ish. You didn't know I'm not sure exactly. It is today. But uh, mm -hmm. one of the things that you will uh, get to experience when you're on board these vessels is learn as much or as little as you'd like. And sometimes people are enthusiastic and the first day they get on board they want to raise the sails and get involved and then they realize how much hard work it is <laughs> and they easily bow out but yeah. I, have, I have a great story from my last cruise in France um, for some of you who are here tonight you know that I live on a sailboat and that was my passion for bringing star clippers into the singles travel international family and so I'm very interested to learn everything that I can. And there was a man aboard the, um, the Royal Clipper and he is like the grandfather of sales. They call him Papa. And Papa one day was pre repairing one of the sails behind the bar up on deck. And I was watching and he saw me watching and within short order, he ushered me over and I watched he train watched him train another young sailor who kept saying to him is this right papa do i have it right papa and so after about 10 minutes it was my turn and i'm telling you guys this looks super easy but when it came to try to put a um a, a needle through one of those very heavy canvases and to get it exactly where it was needing to be it wasn't so easy well papa was weaving that thread so perfectly and of course, after we finished, he took a little ruler to it to make sure that it was just so. And it was a very <laughs> distinct um, and precise, measurable zigzag to keep this, this, this um, tarp from blowing in the wind. So I just, for me, that was such a moving sure. event. And, and I'm sure that nobody ever did that before on a Star Clipper ship. But for me, that's what made it special and that's what this crew does whoever you are and wherever you're coming from when you board one of these vessels don't be surprised if somebody's not watching you and waiting to see what the experience is that you're looking for whether again on the royal clipper they have a marina platform so you can go out and kayak and and paddle board and um there is never a crowd cindy was talking about getting to new places where nobody goes well these vessels go to places that almost nobody goes. So we're always the, just like the only people there, these tiny little islands, you're never waiting, five-star cuisine. And one more thing that I'll say, and I know I'll open the floor a little bit, but one of the things that is very impressive to me is the attention that they take for people with special requests for dining. Mm -hmm. If you have anything that you need, 
um, whether it be gluten-free or uh, vegetarian. Um, there's so many other um, ways that uh, people have to be cautious, especially in our age range. And they don't just ask you to fill out a form the first day and forget about it. Every single night, your waiter is coming over to you and making sure that you are getting what you need. We'll point out on the menu what you're able to eat, what you're not able to eat. And so it's really, it's very, very catered to. You feel like you're on your own yet. So, well, what yes. I'm going to do right now, Sin, is um, we'll open up for some questions, but I, I promise to show everybody here, I'm gonna take the screen because I wanted to show everybody how to, not that screen, of course, but how to find <laughs> um, our, sailing adventures on the website. So when you come to Singles Travel International and you, and you click on all trips, which I'm about to do, which is at the top of the page, then right here where it says trip activities, okay? So just click on all trips. And then when you get to trip activities, if you scroll down to sailing, we have search functionality for lots of different categories and and things that are of importance. But here we're going to go right down to sailing. And if you click on that, and then I'm going to minimize it just a little bit, you have to click on find trips, and then all of our sailing adventures will come up for you. So that's a great way to see everything that we have coming up. Shelly's here tonight. She's talking about the single sailing adventure to Monaco. We have a, a, a two week crossing the Panama Canal, guys. Can you imagine not only crossing the Panama Canal, which is historic, but doing it on a clipper ship? So that's coming up in November. And then tonight, Cindy was featuring our single selling adventure, Costa Rica and Nicaragua, which is in March of next year. We also have Istanbul, Athens to Istanbul. And we have the trip to Croatia and Montenegro, which, which, is, which is the trip Kathy's on. And we're adding more next year. So stay tuned. If you want to see more of our trips, you just have to click on all trips and then calendar. And you'll always be able to see what's up and coming. So before, lastly for me, one of the things that we're really proud of is what we call our premium membership. So I'm going to take the example of the Costa Rica and Nicaragua cruise and click on book now. And when you click on the book now page, you get a chance to see how we're pricing our premium member cabins. The idea behind premium membership is that you get your own space for less. So for example, if you take a category five cabin the normal price is $4,509. You're going to get it for $3,339 as a premium member. All the way up to category four, you're getting a discount of $1,270. Category three, you're getting a discount of, well, about $1,600. Sorry about that, guys. And in category two, you're saving about $1,400. And the membership is only $397. Our programs aren't just the cruise. We always have a pre-cruise package and you're going to find all of those amenities by clicking on the back to info page under the highlight section in the promo box here. So you're getting a free one night pre-cruise package in San Jose plus the premium deals. You're also getting a hundred dollar onboard credit with us and you have a professional friendly leader who's going to guide you and deliver a weekly program to you or a two week program if it's the case of the, the uh, Panama Canal so that you are included in an exclusive singles only agenda. Some of it is in conjunction with activities that we're doing with Star Clippers and some of it is unique and special for us. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that on all of our international programs, we have a, uh, a signature experience. So we always add, you're going to find that somewhere here. In this case, we have a private guided nature tour in Manuel Antonio National Park. 
that's known for the macaws, the famous blue and red macaws. So it's going to be an incredible experience. So, you know, when you come to travel with us and you're single, we're single over 50, some of us just turned 60. And, you know, we're coming, many of us are coming alone. So we don't know anybody. And we're in a world of, of um, you know, not, not everybody's single. So it's wonderful that you, when you come with us, everybody that you're with is single. We create this private energy and this private experience for you. So um, what I'm going to do is turn off the recording just to show you guys. Um, so give you a chance to ask some questions and not have to be on the video. And so give me one second to go ahead and, um, and take care of that. I'm gonna stop the share.